Hello to everyone. Well, this Hi. is the very fun part, navigating inside the Google Drive. Um, as Julia mentioned, uh, without the document structure, all the files can be lost. And maybe you have experienced some of the points that we mentioned here. I mean, the documents uh, are floating in the cyberspace or maybe in all messages threads so difficult to find or maybe you are starting to uh, remembering which mail or which date or maybe in your uh, local computer so the experience here is how to use google drive and how google drive stores the files in different google servers you are never going to know where but the reasons why uh, it was decided to use the Google Drive are some of the reasons, not all of them, because the files are backup and are accessible anywhere from different devices. And the search capabilities are really amazing. And you can work with others like we did with this presentation on the same file, all the persons at the same time or different times and everything it's on there. So it's very useful. So I decided to record the video with some of the functionality on how you can access uh, the, the C information. Let's begin with the Software Excellence Alliance web page. You can simply type in softwareexcellencealliance.org and that will drop you directly there. You can find all the menus and on the resources menu, the very first option is see working documents. When you click on that, this shows you the content of the C folder. You are now on the Google Drive on the web and this is likely the interface that you will end up using most often. On the C folder, I can find different folders and files. Those folders belong to each active working group. The closed ones and another folder with the logos and templates. In each folder, you will find all the information that has been created by each working group. You always have read permission on all the documents. However, if you are already a member of the CE and you belong to a working group, your attributes can vary. Let's look at other functionality on the left side. I can see the share with me option and just like the name implies, I can see any folders or files that others have shared with me. Here it is, the Software Excellence Alliance folder. When I select the folder, with the right button, I can display a menu and I can change the color. I like the purple and as well, I can start the folder and in the three dots, the menu of the different actions appears again and I can add the shortcut, let's say to my drive, add shortcut and when you go to my drive, you are going to find the Software Excellence Alliance shortcut. You can directly go to all the documents. And then in the star, you as well can find the Software Excellence Alliance. Wow. You can also install Google Drive on your PC or on your mobile. You can find more and more functionality and we selected some useful links that we will share with you. Learn, contribute and enjoy with the Software Excellence Alliance and Google Drive features. Thank you. As Rosalba was displaying, the root folder for the Software Excellence Alliance contained folders for each working group, but it also contained two documents. One of those documents was entitled C working groups. Um, that's a very useful document to refer to, uh, to find about the organization and uh, structure of the Alliance. 
Um, the screenshot that you see on the right hand side of, the, of um, this slide shows a sample of what you might find if you open up that document. It describes, there's a description of, uh, or a list of each of the working groups in our alliance with the purpose, the currently proposed near-term goals, um, information about how to contact the leader. You can click on that link to send that person an, e an email. And then also useful links. These useful links may vary from one working group to the next, but, but it will generally include a, um, a quick uh, pointer to their folder on Google Drive also a quick jump to the folder where they store their meeting minutes, as well as a link to the um, archived communications that that uh, uh, working group has had uh, amongst its members. Generally, that, that third web forum link is only accessible to members of the working group. And then also the um, email alias that working group members should be using for communication.